Under this road is a hollow wooden box managed on both sides by a guillotine-like trap door. The technology of the rice truck was brought by enslaved Western Africans in the 1600s. In 400 years, a better way to manage a wetland has not emerged. Rice farming in the low country relied on enslaved labor. After the Civil War, several hurricanes pushed salt water into many of the remaining rice plantations, ruining the crops for generations. But people who lived along these impounded wetlands could feed themselves. Flounder and red drum, oysters, crabs, and shrimp flourished in the shallow waters. In the winter, ducks gathered, providing good hunting. The Deweese Island impoundments were re-engineered beginning in 2015 as a way to increase habitat for waterfowl, wading birds, and shorebirds. As you click through this page, you'll find videos of how we manage our wetlands, how the rice trunk works, and why we manage it the way we do. Now head to Station 2 at the Memory Garden along Deweese Inlet Drive. 